Okay, welcome to the next video. And uh, I'm not alone. Silja is here. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have some exciting stuff to show you today. Uh, uh, I'm gonna show it uh, when we get to the to the harbor side and uh, yeah, take it from there. Exciting. So we're headed out for for an island just outside Hagus and it's five minutes sailing, so it's not not a big journey. And it's just right over here. Really beautiful place. So let's let's find our way inside. Okay, so I have been using an outboard engine for many many years, 15 years, petrol engine, and uh, they're okay, but you know, you need to fill them up with gas and uh, they are very noisy, and uh, mine wanted to start only on weekdays, you know, <laughs> when it wanted to, so it, I had a lot of problems with it. So hopefully this can be solved now. Look at this. This is the e Propulsion Spirit 1 Evo electric outboard. And uh, this is what it looks like from the fabric. And let's open and check it out. There we go. This is the battery. Pretty nice. This is floating and uh, waterproof. I don't, I'm not gonna test it right now, but uh, I can assure you if you lose it on, on the sea, it will float. Genius. And then it's the, what I believe it's the outboard with propeller and shaft. And it looks. This is probably yeah. That's the charger for the battery. Warranty and something else. There we go. And this is the Evo tiller. This is tiller controlled, so let's see what this is. There we go. This looks like the dead man's button to go on the tiller. There we go. Okay, so this is the tiller itself. And it's uh, wired up with a communication link here. And I almost forgot this is a wristband to, to have on your wrist. It's like a dead man button, wireless. So when this comes too far away from the engine, if you fall overboard, it'll cut the engine. And that's it. Let's put this thing together now. Let's not fall into the water now. There we go. So, yeah, that's fine. So the way we do this is to connect the tiller to the propeller shaft assembly and it should be something like this Let's see there we go okay and it snaps into place like that and then you can if you pull it out you can take it down it plugs into place and up and then it's the battery and it pops on let's see some sliding tracks here that's the sound you want and then you will connect the communication cable like that yes pins there you need to be careful with that yep there we go and there it is so that's basically it. This looks pretty cool, I think. We're gonna try to start this while it uh, hangs here, but we need to assure that the propeller won't touch anything. Oh, that is so satisfying. Two seconds on the on button. There we go. It shows the voltage and battery is full. I forgot. The dead man's button. I think that's what you call it in English, isn't it? With that on, you can start it. So let's see. I twist it to the right. And there you go. And it is... You, you, you don't need to turn the whole engine around here, as you do with other small ones to get in reverse. You simply just twist the other way. 
Look at that. And center it and it stops. We have some collision future as well. If you want to take the engine out of the water, you just take this one up and tilt it up all the way until it locks. And if you're sailing in shallow waters, you can pull this pin here out, this, and you release it, and this is locked and upside. If, if you hit anything then, the bottom or something, the engine will do like this without being locked. And then pull the pin, and it's locked all the way. Okay, so the engine is mounted, it's fully working, but it's not gonna get us anywhere sitting on the stern. We didn't need two things, we need a dinghy, and we need the perfect person to test it. <laughs> Are you ready, Celia? Yes. This is uh, all on you now. This is what I do. Okay, this is uh, what you're born to this do. This is where I master. Yes. I can actually do this from land. Okay, so I'm gonna try the e-propulsion safety wristband now. And the reason for that, that's wireless. And we have this dead man's button as well, but this one you're gonna need to have on your wrist and it's pretty much in the way if you turn around, suddenly you drag it off and your engine stops. Annoying. So with this, hopefully that is gone. That's no more an issue. So let's try to pair it up with the tiller. SE. And she's uh, tight, uh, tied up at the key here. And then we fall overboard, man overboard. And I push the button. Long press. And it stops. So we can climb aboard again, neutralize the gas, the, the speed, and it's good to go. That's pretty cool. Okay, Celia, mm -hmm. the scene is yours. Uh -huh. Just step on board the little monster. Be careful. If you to go to the clock, you can't go to the clock. Hey, do you think you're warm? Yes, I really wonder. I was gonna go with two people on board this, uh, this thing. <laughs> That's absolutely no sound at all. Mm. It's so nice. And here we go. You wanna stare? Okay. Okay, she's oh, yours. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. You're oh good. my god. You're good. Oh my god. <laughs> <didn't drop. laughs> no. It's amazing. So let's take her for a spin. She's a little bit heavy at the front there. 100 kilos and you're like 20 or something. <laughs> Never talk about what <laughs> But that's 120 kilos. <laughs> we're at full speed now. Please take, take the gas down. <laughs> we need to brake her. Almost hitting land. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can take us in. You can take us in? Of course. Go for it. Almost there, almost there. Uh, oh, there we go. But I was better this time. Yeah, much yeah. better, much better. No yelling. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're gonna take a speed test. It's full speed. That's about four knots. So here it shows how many minutes you have been using the engine, eight minutes. And we have nine hours left of battery with this speed. And if you go full speed, we have uh, one hour and one hour and 20 minutes with full speed. That's pretty good. Half speed, about three hours. And reverse. have to test if it floats. I have to, I have to. Yeah. It and it does. sure does. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's gonna be 
not gonna do that again. Okay, so that was a real nice test. It's this is really high quality, I can tell you. Uh, I'm very happy with it, and I really look forward to having many hours with fun with that thing. Especially in the Hebrides, on the St. Kilda when I'm coming there, I, I will need the dinghy to get on shore. And that e propulsion thing is for sure gonna get me there. But many of you probably wonder how to charge this uh, thing. I have my lithium batteries uh, behind here. I have also this 1500 watts uh, inverter up here, the gray one. But it's gonna consume a lot of power. So I have two alternators, one here, 110 uh, amps, and one here, I think it's 100 amps, 210 amps altogether. So that's gonna recharge my batteries in a couple of hours when I use it. So that's no trouble. So I'm, I'm just really looking forward to get going now. This is the last video I will make before uh, heading off to the Hebrides. And I really look forward to edit that video for you. Okay, so I think that's it for uh, the e-propulsion outboard test. Thank you so much e-propulsion for letting me uh, have this and test it and bring it on to my trips. And I really loved it. Really good quality. What do you think, Celia? I survived. <laughs> and as usual, check out my t-shirts, you know, and everything, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and all the, the support. Really appreciate it, and I will see you soon.